And I have returned because I am ready to explore Ash Twin. That's going to be my next destination. But first, I want to check out the ship computer. See if there's anything else there. Ship lock. Room, rumor mode. Right. Um, wait, did I actually, did I not discover anything new in the last loop? Really? Map. Let me go to the Hourglass Twins. Specifically, let me go to Ash Twin. Lock on. Oh no. I'm having that bug again where I can't log on to things. <sighs> That's so annoying. Actually annoying. Guess I'll have to find it manually, huh? It was close to the sun. There it is. That wasn't that wasn't hard actually. So this is Ash Twin, I'm guessing. There is this bastard again. Okay, hold that thought. I'm gonna try and land on this again. It disappeared last time I tried. Let's, maybe I should go quick. Yeah, no! It jumped out of the way. It was like, nope, I'm over here now. Okay, I'm gonna try and just send it. Oh, I missed it. Shit. Come here, you. Oh, no. Oh, no. I wish I could log on. I'm applying so much thrust right now. Come here. Come here, you. Up, 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 up. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna die, aren't I? No. It just this. There it is. It doesn't wanna... It's not being very cooperative here. And I can't log on. It's really pissing me off. Let's check this out. Ash Twin. Headlights off. Whoops. Let's not crash into Timber Hearth here, shall we? Oh no, it's going behind the sun. What is this? Actually, hold that thought. I'm gonna. I'm being distracted all the time right now. I wanna go to that place. Come here, you. Come here, you. I'm chasing it in orbit. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Come here. Holy shit, it is quick. It is so quick. Oh my. I'm flying away now. What's happening? God, I cannot control this spaceship to save my life. Let me go to Ash Twin. No more distractions. No more bullshit. Let's go. Am I even going there? The relative motions that happening that's happening in the solar system make make everything seem so confusing. Look, there's the bar. It's back. That's not a bar though. Oh god, let's not crash into it. Oh my god, it's completely filled with ash, I'm guessing here. Okay. That went relatively okay, I think. Let me land somewhere interesting. What about this place? Ooh, I'm gonna land up here, actually. Yes. Oh my god. Fucking nailed it. What's going on? Oh, wait a minute. It's pushing me up. I get it. Okay, uh, let me go down here then. Let me just land there. Nice. Holy shit, a new planet. I'm so excited to explore this place. I'm so excited. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I didn't have my spacesuit on. I croaked. Oh, no. I mean, on the bright side, maybe the logon bug is fixed now. <laughs> 
Ho! I hope you saw what I just saw. That goddamn planet just disappeared right in front of my eyes. Right in front of my four eyes. I will look at that recording for sure. If I remember. That was creepy as hell. Slate. The sun is going to go supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observatory has an exhibit about that. No, that's not what I mean. Between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornfels' domain. Me, I'm here for the rocket science and the marshmallows. Fair enough, man. I can dig your vibe. I dig it. I see your stance. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of marshmallows, but uh, rocket science sounds cool. Okay. Let me try and see if I can land on Ember... Ember? Twin? Ash Twin. Ember Twin and Ash Twin. Let me see if I can land on Ash Twin. And most importantly, lock onto it. So, map. Still can't. God damn it. Actually, a really annoying bug. I think it's a bug at least. I mean, did I s click on something that prevented me from being able to lock on? Where's the sun? Oh, it's right over here. So that's good. Let's just send it. Straight to Ash Twin. Actually, now that I think about it, I shouldn't send it too hard. I need to slow down before I get there. Newtonian physics and all that. An object in motion will stay in motion unless an opposite, an external force, acts upon it. Meaning thrusters. Oh, these are actually orbiting each other. Of course they are. That's so cool. What a, wait, what is happening here? Is the ash flowing? Down? I think the, the fucking ash is flowing to the other planet. What a... What a cool concept? So I wonder if this actually changes the level of ash on this planet over time. I mean, it's gotta be, right? That's the whole... Yes! This place... Was not that sand filled when I was here just before. Like, I distinctly remember there was a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me try something here. Nope. That was a harsh landing. Whoa. Right! I have a signal scope on my ship. That's right. Yep. The sand is... Becoming less sand. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um... Cool. Let me explore it, though. Holy shit, we're close to the sun now. That's a campfire. And someone was playing drums, I remember that. Maybe I should go visit him first. Or her. Let me get up here. Okay, so I can't get down, it's only up. Just like uh, in the mining site on Timber Heart. What is this? Looks like uh, solar panels or something. Actually, it just occurs to me. Oh, that's so fucking genius. I get it. Oh my god. Everything is based on time here. Remember when I could doze off at the campfire? That's totally to speed up time so that, for example, if you want to explore this planet, you can, you can speed up time and basically, uh, well, speed up time, right? And have the sand go down quicker here. That's what that's for. That's why that's even a thing in this game. So... I should probably explore this planet first, because it's going to get filled with sand over time. Right? 
Oh my god, it's so fucking genius! Oh, I just crashed into something. That's not what I'm- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, get out of the way. Get out of the way. I wish I could log on to things. Oh, we just happen to be in the right spot, I think. Nope! Wrong button! <laughs> uh, kinda cool that I can do that. Let me land here. Let me land right here. What is this place? There's banjo music coming from it. Oh no, wait, that's uh, Brittle Hollow. I have my suit on, check. Fuel, check. Here we go. Oh my god, there's not a lot of gravity here. So I wonder, I wanna pay attention to this. The gravity right now is 0.8x, or 0.8 times uh, timber hearth gravity, I guess. That's the relative scale. I wonder when this planet gets filled with ash, if that number, number will increase. If the gravity will become more severe here because of the added mass. I will try to pay attention to that. Oh my god, he's right here. Chert! Goodness, it's you! Hello! I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. Oh, it's sand. Okay. Hornfells asked me to update our star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know? What's weird is, I've actually seen a couple of supernovae today. Me too! Usually, I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye or four on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Already figured that one out! I feel so proud of that. Okay, this is a stupid question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway, just to see his answer. How do I know if I've spotted a supernova? Supernovae look like extra bright stars to the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell that they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespans, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realized. That's a possibility. But that would mean that all the stars in this galaxy, at least, would have been born around the same time and that they would have the approximately the same mass, meaning they would go off approximately at the same time. Which is quite unlikely. But, you know, anything can happen in this made-up world, I guess. What are you doing out here? Right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfels noticed our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think I'm the only traveler out here inter interested in doing any science at all. I don't know about that, Chert. I think Hornfels uh, is pretty much into science as much as you. I mean, he discovered the whole expanding universe and stuff. Measuring redshifts, noticing that uh, stars that are very far away are not actually stars, but galaxies. He's doing a lot of science, you know? Eh, maybe don't tell Hornfels either. <laughs> I think they're pretty deep in denial? What do you mean? What would he be deep in denial about? About the universe expanding? Where should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but uh, I'm really quite good with the Little Scout. So I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on Ember Twin's southern hemisphere? The one shooting a bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. But this one's a Nomai ship. On Ember Twin's southern hemisphere. You'll find Nomai ruins across the Twins. Across the Twins. But strangely, not a single... S oh, across the Twins, as in you'll find them across this whole area, sort of. Uh, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I'd have to see it with my little scout. So where did they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies on the ground? Maybe. Hmm. How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? On a scale of one to dead, 
I'd give it a 7 or 8. Awfully pretty though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Ember Twin. But did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh my god! The Hourglass Twins! Sand! It makes total sense! I get it! Huh. What a cool ass concept. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, Check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Bro, I already figured all this shit out. Tell me, what can I do for you for? What can I do you for? Uh, just saying hi. Watch out for falling sand, okay? I've had to think myself out once or twice, and that's not half as fun as it sounds. I don't know if that sounds fun though, jerk. Uh. M -m -m mind the sand now. Is that what is that supposed to mean? Uh, I have a question for you. I found something. Please do tell. I found your notes about the Edelrock's main crater. What? Did you? I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid, or just partially made of ice, like a much colder giant's deep. It's hard to say. It used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. Fifth planet. You'll notice, of course, that there's no such planet now. In its place is Dark Bramble, which, how to put this, grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy? That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely and its shards were flung across space. Ah! And some of those shards landed on the Edelrock. Which is why Chert. Wait, I didn't know it was Chert at the time, but maybe I did know. But he figured out that the composition of the crust in the mantle, no, in the crater on the moon, was very much alike the material on Dark Bramble. Or the material that was part of the planet that got consumed by Dark Bramble. Some of these shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Edelrock, which I believe is how its biggest crater was formed. And you know what else? I think some of that also hit Timber Hearth. Sprouted that seed that we saw there. Speaking of Timber Hearth, I still haven't figured out the mystery about uh, the guy with the harmonica. Oh, that's so cute! He has a little telescope! I wish I could use it. What is it looking at? Oh, I guess it just... The planet keeps spinning, so... Uh... Are you saying something else? Oh, you're back. Say, have you noticed anything unusual about the stars lately? Something seems... How to put this... Off. I've seen, what? 10 supernova already? 12? I'm in the double digits now. And that's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. Yeah. I'm sorry to tell you this, Chert. Watch out for the stars. I mean, sand. Yeah, I'm sorry to tell you this, but uh, it seems that all the stars are going supernova and uh, we're the last. Which reminds me, I need to check if that's true. When all these stars go out... Is our sun the last one to explode? That's what I want to know. Wait. Did I really park all the way over there? Oh my god, the sand has completely drained off. Jesus Christus. Oh my god. Jesus, that was a bit violent. Wait, what? Oh, this is not my ship. My ship is over here. I could have sworn I parked closer. What is... Is this... Uh, this, this, is, this has got to be church ship. I can't do anything with it, it seems. Let me get back here. And... Smooth as butter. Beautiful. Unidentified signal, right. Uh, it's got to be church. Whoop. Get up there. There we go. 
Single identified shirt. Now here's a question. Where's Timberheart? Yeah. So when we identify a signal, we can always see what the signal is. So this is Esker. We identified that signal when we were on the moon. Actually, I'm seeing the crater right now filled with ice that the uh, chert was talking about. Okay, let's uh, go back to the ship. The real ship this time, not that ship, this ship. Yeah, I was right next to him. I was like, wait a minute, did I really park that far away? I'm losing my mind here. Oh wait, let me check something. The gravity here is still 0.8x, so it doesn't seem to be actually changing. Church camp. Hmm. Chert has set up their astronomy gear on the north pole of Ember Twin. Chert has spotted an unusually high number of supernova recently. Me too. No my shipwreck. Chert saw a no my shipwreck shooting a beam of light into the sky somewhere on Ember Twin's southern hemisphere. I kind of want to go there. Uh, but what's this? Underground settlement. Chert thinks the lack of surface ruins means the Nomai must have lived somewhere underground. Okay. Okay, well, first things first. Let's refill... Oh my god, I keep... There we go. Let us, let us take control of this ship here. And I want to go explore somewhere on the southern hemisphere. There's supposed to be a Nomai ship there. So, how do I know what's... Oh, yeah. Uh, red is north, blue is south, right? So, I just... Oh, I go this way. Still can't log on. Whoa! Did I just get hit by the sand? Maybe I did. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Oh! <gasps> is this the... Eye signal locator, the bigger one they were building. They said they were doing it in the southern pole, right? Okay, I gotta check this one out. I gotta check this out. I gotta check this out. Oh god, we're so close to the sun. It looks like we're falling into it. Oh wait, it's over there. Let me check this place first. Oxygen detected. Perfect. Oh my god. I mean, if you're this close to the sun and it's a red giant, you you will not be able to survive here. But then again, these are Harthians. Maybe they have a uh, different tolerance to heat. The hell is this? So this is uh, the Ash Twins. This is the Hourglass Twins. That's Timber Hearth. Oh, is it tracking them? It is! Okay. So they upgraded this thing so we don't have to move a ball around anymore. They just all track. That's cool. So this is... Uh, whoop. Holy shit, this one is going fast. What is this one? Oh, it's the eye signal. It still can't locate it. So, that's Giant's Deep. This has got to be Dark Bramble. It is. Look. And Brittle Hollow. Oh my god, I'm getting some stuttering in this game. What is this? Where are you going? This doesn't. This is not the eye signal. Uh, eye signal icon though. What are you tracking? Oh, I see! It's tra tracking the quantum moon. That's gotta be it. So wait. Huh. Where is it now? Oh my god, this is so fucking cool. Right? So they're tracking this moon. 
And now it's gone again. Where does it go now? Holy shit, we're crashing into the sun soon. Man. Now it moves again. Is that because the sun obstructed our view? There it is. Cool, man. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, we can read something over here. Let's read. Uh, Mallory. This planet sometimes, and only sometimes, has a moon. This is also of note. It disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital char characteristic? It is. Uh, it is very fascinating. Millery, this is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it. Or even better, we should travel there. I tried it, okay? If you can't do it. I agree. Our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. Track this phantom moon so we can always... Yeah, so, so, they, they, so they built this to track the moon, I guess. But what about the eye signal? Anona, given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. That's exactly what I said. That's exactly... Those are literally my words when I saw the, 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 the rock moving around in the beginning of the game. I found your note, Mellory. Kind, kindly count me among this moon's admirers. <laughs> the way they write is kind of hilarious. Like, it's overly uh, formal and kind of cute, you know? Or maybe it's a byproduct of the shoddy translation of this device. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, what is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Does it move to another location? Yes, it does. I believe so. Not, not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. Oh, I get it. The quantum moon, it orbits planets, right? But it travels around, so sometimes it orbits. That's why it sometimes is farther, f far away, and sometimes it's close by. It's traveling to, like, it's over here right now. It's right there. No? No, that's, that's Giant's Deep. Oh yeah, it's behind Giant's Deep, okay. So it's orbiting Giant's Deep now, and when I look away, it's gone. It's orbiting Brittle Hollow. No, that's Timber Hearth. Okay, I'm way too excited. God, I love this game. Holy shit, I love this game. Uh, there's something over here. Oh god, it's about to explode. Does it explode? I feel like it always explodes when this music comes on. I think, I think this is it. I think that's what it is. Light campfire. Hmm. Okay, so there's still stars left. We don't seem to be the last. Yet. Okay, you know what? I'm getting goosebumps here. I just want to kind of observe this happening. We're so close. Let me stand in the center here. We're not the last. Here, here it goes. I hear it. Holy sh- that's actually really well done. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking so cool. It's so cool. I didn't want to start reading something else and then be interrupted in the middle of it. So I'd rather just go down with the ship and uh, try again next time.
talking to Chert. Oh my god! Look! That's such a cool detail! I don't know if you saw it. When I was talking to Chert, the reflection in his visor... Uh, showed the rotation of the planet because the sun's reflection was... Uh, Orbit was like I'm saying orbiting here, but it was moving around his visor in a circle. What a cool little detail! I didn't notice that at the time because uh, we we weren't fast forwarding, so you don't notice that sort of motion. And look how many stars there are now. It's so quiet. I'll see you in the next episode.